Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I'm the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. Hope you're having a great day. Today is Paint a Fish Friday, um, where we're going to take any sort of fish species that's recommended by my subscribers and we're going to try and give it a painting, see what happens. Uh, today's suggestion is from Cody. He, uh, he writes to uh, Darcy, I'm a Capricorn. I like long walks on the beach and holding hands and the smell of puppy breath. Could you please try and paint a brown bull-headed catfish and that's what we're going to try and do today. I know the excitement is dripping from your mouth right now so let's get started and thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. We're pretty desperate. We don't want to end up in a band down by the river and uh, make sure you stay till the end because that's where the bad joke of the day is. Thanks very much and here. So we're starting the fish off. This actually, this color, it's interesting. This is called quinaquidrone gold. Now I bought this tube honestly about 20 years ago and I decided to look up um, its formulation for this project and it turns out it was discontinued uh, in 2003 because the auto industry no longer needed it and uh, when the auto industry doesn't need it well all of a sudden the watercolor companies I'm, I'm told tend to drop them as well because they, they can't afford to make just little piddly amounts of colors just for poor good-looking artists like us so as you're noticing this fish um, at this point it looks pretty bad I mean this is one of the things I struggle with when I do my watercolors um, there's always this point where I kind of look at it and I go why should I even continue this and it took me a long time to figure out that you just gotta keep at it I know that sounds so cliche is keep on chugging or whatever that Nemo Dory fish says about keep on going keep on going um, but I did continue uh, this fish actually is a native of southern Ontario and uh, it's got all these really cool uh, I want to call them camouflage mark camouflage markings um, to protect it from other fish along with its barbs um, catfish, if you didn't know, have little barbs on their spines. Quite painful. I had one stuck in my thumb once. Uh, it's not the little tendrils coming out of its nose. Those Everybody thinks those are what sting you, and it's, it's not those at all. They're actually spines on their, on their fins. So at this point it was coming along. Um, I'm adding the little uh, tendrils there. I was pretty happy with it so far, but I'm working with some different colors. What you're going to see coming up is um, I'm going to work on the eye. The eye was lots of fun, pretty straightforward. Again, I'm going from a uh, government painting of how these fish look as my reference. So I'm copying that as best as I can. This definitely, <laughs> definitely isn't from memory because uh, I can't do that. And here, I don't know if you can see the color very well, but this is actually lavender. And lavender, you would think, why are you putting lavender on a fish? But if you look at the picture I was using, and you need to use references. Um, because if it was a red fin, I'd be using red, but this was actually lavender. And then so I started defining the lines and the, the, the spines, uh, the little bones in the fins here. And it was... <laughs> hard. Uh, again, it looked really bad. At this point, I, I wanted to save some parts of the fish and throw out and scream at other parts. But I kept going. Um, getting a um, fine detail, I actually ended up switching my brush to a very, very fine uh, detailed line work. Now this is the, the end tail, I guess that, that the dorsal fin. No, that's on its back. I know that from sharks. Uh, that's the the back tail. Now what you're going to notice in any second now, it's going to pop to the final painting. I'm adding a little bit of Krinoquan gold on there. That's the final painting. The reason I jumped right to the end there was because that back uh, tail fin, um, I really had to do some fine detail on it and I just couldn't do it with the, the camera and the lighting without getting in the way. So there it is. Hope you like it. Send me some suggestions for Paint a Fish Friday. I'll see what I can do. And here comes the bad joke of the day. Ha 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 